He represents uh, two official posts in for our registration. We have two registration to be done within March. Most of the members they call me and for them and for you all people. One is Clinical Establishment Act. There the joint director of the health service is the government authority. Whereas the medical council has put him as a Chennai chapter representative, advisory committee member. He represents the doctors in the committee who can instruct also, who can justify whether the instruments are there, whether the stipulated clinical establishment act is followed in your clinic or not. He is going to be one among the advisory committee member. For what you can clarify your doubt about registration of our clinics or hospital in clinical establishment under the clinical establishment act. Second is he is our elected member of Tamil Nadu Medical Council. That means credit us any doubt you can clarify him to now. This is what the purpose of inviting him that he is a representative is a field work and that is also a refreshing one. Thank you. If you have any doubt please clarify him. Uh, credit covers actually as we have just a little bit short so that more than 70 years everybody needs all registered medical scientists need to re register it. After this June, whatever certificate they are receiving will be given to its valid for 5 years from the date of re registration. Now any person who is getting registered now, MBBS or MD or MCH, whoever it is, in the like uh, what we get in our uh, uh, driving license is valid for 20 years like that. Here it will be written that this certificate is valid for 5 years. This is not our thing. This is based on the MCI recommendations since MCI recommendations 2002. We are supposed to register by 2017. This process started in 2012. After 5 years we need to re-register. So we are already 2, two years in lagging. Other states have already started re-registering all So we have started with the uh, five year this uh, one since June 2018. So uh, for those persons that's not a problem because after five years they anyhow definitely come to again get the degree uh, re registration so they will have this uh, CME credit hours mandate. For our who have registered in the last five years who have done re-registration so they will register after 5 years from the date of the last re-registration. So any of you who have done MD or MCH or something who have re-registered in summer 2015, that date of re-registration will be 2020, not now. So 5 years is the time for re-registration. More than 70 years of age, no need to have all other all others have to re-register. So more than 70 years of age. They have to re-register, but CMA credit hours are not mandatory. Again, it's just CMA credit points is different, credit hours is different. Credit points is given by the MGM University, that's for what every one hour they give one credit point. That doesn't translate into credit hours. MCA clearly to place for four hours of CME, you get a one credit hour. For four hours, suppose for CME for half a day we do, that will be one credit hour. So one full day we do a CME, that is two credit hours. Suppose two days of CME per, then four credit hours. But university, uh, India Medical University, they give for every hour one credit point. Suppose for one whole day, ten hours of CME, they give ten credit points. For two days they give twenty credit points. That doesn't come under the purview of MCA. Ideally they have any society or artist, they have to get attached uh, to the medical council, they have to, the accreditation, they have to get, then that will be valid for 5 years like that. They have to get the separate email ID, through that only they can log in and register their CMEs. I think I have a code of have also done that. So, of more than 70 years, they did not have credit hours for re registration. So, the initial first drive would be for the persons aged more than 70 years. So they will re-register only with the 300 rupees of DD with the previous registration certificate. They will not require credit hours at all. Others, for each, suppose for any uh, 
person who has done a medical education or a DMB teacher who is considered a faculty for teaching or a postgraduate student, those need not have, need not produce a CMA credit hours because they are already updating their knowledge. They are, they are teaching, they are receiving. So these two categories are DMB teachers, private hospitals like Apollo or DMB teachers will be there. They are also considered as teachers. So they need not uh, need to accumulate these credit hours. But so just they need to do is they are a faculty the last five years. Suppose if they are two, three stations previously, suppose the government uh, is now in Madras Medical College, previously he was in Madhuri Medical College and previously that Tanja uh, or something like that. They have to submit a form that uh, the subscript format is there, that office will be submit, they will see the SR and write last five years he has been there. So he is a faculty. So the team will sign, that's enough. So for teaching faculties, actually MC allows only five credit hours per year. We have made it, we have given it six hours. So that it's not again it's just it's not that every year you have we have to have six credit hours. This is a block. Five hours is a block. Within one month also you can accumulate that 30 hours. It's not that one year we have to have six credit hours, second year six credit hours. It's not like that. The whole five years, last 15 days itself, you can have 30 credit hours. That's it. That's what the MCA is to place. So this five years period, you must have 30 credit hours. That's the thing. Whether we like or not, is the rule we need to apply to you. Whether I personally like or not, that's a different issue. So how can the six twelve hundred seventy be seventy? What is dead or it is alive? The children. So that uh, two hundred twenty three thousand dollars is already dead or alive now? Dead or five years? Five years. So we have to. We have to be registered. We have to take it, sir. That's right. Now any penalty for the? Uh, I I will just finish it, sir. Yes. So this is for five uh, teaching faculties. Yes. Next is. Who are not non teaching faculties, who are general uh, uh, attached to a private college or a uh, private practitioners, they need to accumulate these credit hours, they must have this 30 credit hours for re registration. So, suppose if they have only 20 credit hours, suppose they are lacking in 10 credit hours, that's a, a separate form. Again, we can't actually say, okay, okay, for 10 credit hours we pay this much. Uh, that's all. It's not like that. You need to carry this 10 credit hours to the next block. So, you, next block is suppose 2017 to 22 will be the next block. So, there we need 30 credit hours. So, this 10 plus 30, 40 credit hours you need to have before re registering the 22. So, for these 20 credit hours, we'll, for the next uh, uh, 10 credit hours, you will pay a minimum, uh, I don't want to say some fine or whatever it is. For every point uh, lakh, you pay suppose 50 rupees. So 10 credit, 500 rupees as well. That means you say that you will again do it. Because there must be a difference between who have done it and who have not done it. But you don't want to make this a big gap. Because for one point, if you say 1,000 rupees, that will be, this is just a 50 rupees, is nothing. Five rupees. So to show the difference that who have done and who have not done. So that means 10 credit hours is lacking. So, 500 rupees. With already have 20 credit hours. So, you go into it, re register. But this 10 credit hours have to be completed in the next block. You cannot escape that only money, 30 credit hours, you can pay 1500 rupees. That's all. It's not like that. Next, this 30, if you are, anybody is like, doesn't have any credit hours at all. 30 credit hours you need to, you have to pay 1500 rupees as a fine or whatever it is. Then you take this to the next block. So 30 plus 30, 60 credit hours we need to do in the next thing. Suppose we are doing now in 2019 plus uh, 5 years. Sorry, 2022 plus 18 proposal. So at that point we need to do it then 30 plus 30, 60 credit hours. Suppose that anybody has not done the Omnicure so site is there where you can do online CME also. Uh, I know persons who have done who doesn't didn't have any credit hour at all. They can take online, just sit in front of it for two hours and get the, uh, you take the questions, you get one credit hour. Like that, he has accumulated 40 credit hours within the span of one month. So, who, they here, you can take it, 
become your own community. Community time. After practice, maybe 10 o'clock, 10 to 12, two hours to take, take the sleep. You may not go spend somewhere else, you may not spend money, you may not travel. Or just, again I say, it is not my personal wish to enforce the karma. But this has been done and we have to comply with it. As a body, which is attached to MCI, we have to, for medical education purpose, there are some can be, controversies uh, can be there, whether it's really useful or not. That, and we are not going into that aspect. Yeah, as a, any rule of the law, what is the same? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not for five years, three years are PG period. So for the two years only you have to get the... Yes, sir. PG period would be, as I said, to, if somebody has done for uh, three years of PG period, then only for the two years he has done. So, so basic things are in other profession also, so legal side or uh, engineering side, why in British states? Now only you know about the credit levels and credit uh, points. What are you saying? Credit point and credit levels. I said the credit point is different. Now only we come to know about the difference of that. Why is the confusion now? They are basically US with the is registered by the Tamil Nadu Medical Council. Any degrees? No, 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 sir. Any India University runs so many fellowship programs. They run 100 to 200 fellowship programs. Those degrees are not registered in the Medical Council. Or, again, I repeat, those degrees are not registered in the Medical Council. Those degrees must not be suffixed in the letter pad or behavior name, all so many degrees who are given by the university must not be prefixed in our name or letter pad which are not recognized. <laughs>
So the appearance of this meeting will also increase. They are so flexible. Contrary to the popular belief that they are religion. No, if you do any ACM programs, you see that we have to give you people one month's notice before we connect you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ideally, yes, ma'am. You, you have to, no, no, you have to get, you have to apply for the credit hours, you have to get the credit hours. After the admin sheet has to be sent to the council, so, because why this is, we can inspect also, whether really uh, it is be conducted also. So, after that, you need to, after finishing it, the signature of the delegates, you need to send a certificate, in that, from that certificate, those credit hours will be automatically credited into the uh, respective names, which can be seen in the website itself. If you want a hard copy of that, you need to pay another fee rupees to get the card of RS. All this will be incorporated into the uh, register number against your register number. Before we are charging for registration fee for the CME, we have to pay 100 rupees to the Tamil Nadu Medical Council. Is it still possible? Yes, sir. Yes. 50 rupees alone you pay, that you will not get the hard copy. But you just get the points. The empty there is your against your name. If you want a hard copy, hundred rupees. Make sure you get to the point. Please check, sir. It's there. If it's not there, please check. It's there. Please check, sir. Sir, we are saying they are the same number or number the number? Same number. Sir, one last thing.
So with that, our problem is a little bit solved. Even otherwise, we have to pay and we have to attend our CMEs regularly for another five years and we are going to connect the CME on our state council meet which is going to have carry six uh, predators. You register for that also in large numbers and that will be having six hours in the March 24. Whereas you can submit it immediately at our next uh, uh, block of uh, five years and you will get your renewal again. So this is one aspect. And today we have he has to go, the other speaker is waiting. Clinical establishment act, another one uh, guillotine on our head. We have to register our clinic by uh, uh, what you call clicking our cell phone itself. We can pay, we can register. Take your children's uh, help to register that. 5,000 rupees uh, uh, what you call pay and immediately it is registered. Not so difficult. But before March you do all these things. Why I say they will not uh, sue a case on us. Not a harm. Government is going to sue a case on us. In case if a patient sues on you, the lawyer of the patient will just produce that you are not renewed your license. Your clinic is not registered with the health board. So you become a non-medical or non-quack owner in the quack with the MBPS. So please don't wait for someone will do. Everyone will think, everyone will support. Even your neighbor doctors, your neighbor friends, your classmates will say why you are not registered. So that is the time we are going to be in soup. IME is also not going to help at that time. So learn all these things and do it in the right way. And uh, Dr. Uh, Talapati is our member. In our WhatsApp group, his number is there. You ask questions, we will put him on to him and we will, he will also clarify. And he is uh, in the advisory committee for what I have brought him. See his face and whenever you have a problem with clinical establishment act, he is the first person in Chennai to reach non-official. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Any other questions? Address to me or to Dr. Ramachandra. So we will take it up and we will be very happy to help our colleagues and the same person practices in two different places. Pardon, ma'am? The same person is practicing in two different places, morning event, place and evening. So we have to pay for both in two places. Place has to be registered. And two times you have to pay the fees? The place, suppose. Place yes, I will. That's all. Fees also different from both the places. Yes. Both. Suppose if I go to two places, two clicks means it's two clicks. Two clicks only we have to register. So two clicks have to be registered. Or dental doctor. Or dental doctor also have to register. Dental doctor also have to register. Dental clinic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Dental clinic. Yes. So what is building that?